Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and this is the moon. Or at least that's the name, right? But is it actually a moon? In this video we're going to discuss uh, the idea of this not actually being a moon, at least in the future. And today you're going to discover that in a few billion years, our beautiful Earth and our beautiful moon are actually going to classify as binary planets. Welcome to What The Math. Alright, so first of all, uh, our moon is extremely unusual. It's super, super big, very large, and much larger than it should be compared to other moons and other satellites in our solar system. In terms of mass ratio, one moon um, is about 1 80th, 1 divided by 80, of Earth. Now that is extremely unusual because most other moons in our solar system are tiny in comparison to the main planets. Like for example, the largest moon of Jupiter right here is super tiny in comparison to Jupiter. It's like basically divided by 10,000 masses. So in that sense, our moon, the one that you see in the skies, is definitely unusual. But what's even more unusual is that it may even meet the definition of uh, a binary system or binary planetary system uh, according to the most recent definition. Now, here's what the uh, definition for binary objects is. For a binary uh, object to exist, or basically for two planets to be binary planets, they have to have relatively similar mass, but most importantly, their barycenter has to be uh, outside of both objects. Now, this is where we still actually kind of don't qualify for this. So if I basically create the barycenter here, you'll see that it's still inside our planet Earth, specifically about 4,000 kilometers away from the center. But as you may know, Moon is actually moving away from Earth. As a matter of fact, it's moving away from Earth about four centimeters per year. And this means that eventually it's going to move far enough where the Berry Center is going to be outside of Earth's orbit. And in that case, it's actually going to now qualify as a binary planetary system. In other words, in the future, this is, is going to be binary planets. The moon is no longer going to be a satellite, it's going to be a binary planet. And to calculate the actual distance needed uh, for this to happen, and I guess the, uh, the actual age or how many years it will take, we're going to use this really simple formula that has the distance between two objects, mass of the first object, mass of the second object, and the radius of the barycenter. Now, as soon as this becomes 6,381, which is basically one kilometer bigger than the radius of Earth, that's when uh, the Moon-Earth system is officially binary planets. Uh, right now, we can actually qualify pluto charon system, as, as you see right here, as binary planets as well. So, when will this actually happen? And so to basically calculate uh, this A that's missing, we have to take R, which is 6,381 kilometers. Uh, this ratio here will be about 81, plus one will give us 82. So in other words, we're multiplying 6,381 with about 82. And the number we get is about uh, 525,000 kilometers. And this is basically the distance that the moon has to be at for the very center of um, the two objects to be outside of both planets, or both objects, that is. Uh, now, the moon currently, is, on average, about this far away. This basically means that uh, the difference between what we have to achieve and what it is now is about 140,000 kilometers, roughly. Now, if the moon is moving away from Earth four centimeters per uh, year, and the distance we have to cover is about 140,000 kilometers, this is how many centimeters it's going to give us. And if we divide this by four, it's going to give us years um, needed for the moon to be at a distance of about 525,000. And what you get is about three and a half billion years. So in other words, for the moon, to become an actual binary planet, we just have to wait. We just have to wait approximately three and a half billion years. Now, this is going to be uh, right after the collision with the Andromeda. 
So things might actually be completely different by then, but right here, this is where the Berry Center is right outside of um, Earth. And now officially this meets the definition of binary planetary system. Now by then, Earth will actually also transform um, probably quite a lot. As a matter of fact, it also may uh, not even have the magnetic field anymore. It might even become much cooler and thus shrink. And uh, if it actually does shrink, it means that uh, this could even happen faster. Now, we don't really know how fast the Earth is changing in terms of size, but we do know that uh, the temperature is cooling down because Earth is basically slowly losing heat from the inside. So eventually, maybe just maybe, it will actually become a little bit smaller. And so maybe this will actually only be about 2 billion years instead of 3.5 billion years. But other than that, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about in this video. So our system that has a moon right now that's very, very weird is technically going to become a binary planetary system with this object on one end and planet Earth on the other. And it will probably even stay this way for at least a few billion years uh, until Earth finally gets swallowed by the sun or something else horrible happens to it. Well, anyway, that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. I wanted to basically talk about how our moon is actually very unusual in comparison to other moons and how it's going to redefine Earth in the future. On this note and then on this beautiful collision, let's end this video and make sure to subscribe if you still haven't, come back tomorrow to learn something else and maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow, thank you for watching, space out and as always, bye bye.